Hey guys, how's it going today? Happy whatever day it is that you're watching this. Thank you very much for tuning in. You are watching Sketching the Beast. This is another speed drawing here. Uh, today I'm doing Ghost Rider. As you can see, I've already done the pencil work on this one. Um, unfortunately, I didn't start the recording process while I was doing the pencils. And um, it's, you know, it's one of those things, right? So anyways, uh, so, right, so we'll start off at the inking process where um, we're just going to do inking and coloring. This one actually took me quite a while to do. I'd say probably about, uh, I don't know, a little over um, two and a half hours maybe. Uh, so <laughs> I definitely lost quite a bit of time and money on this one, but that's okay. That's, uh, you know, something that you have to deal with on the road to, you know, becoming successful. Sometimes you have to give up a little bit. I know there's a lot of guys out there that say, you know, raise your prices, make sure your prices match what you're doing, and you know what I mean? It's, right now, art isn't my entire uh, career. Uh, you know, I, I am an IT guy, so <laughs> I, um, you know, I'm, something I'm working on, and right, is, is transitioning from being a uh, IT guy to a, uh, an artist someday, eventually, you know, but anyways. So uh, as you can see here, I'm roughing in the details. So one thing that's interesting about this piece is I tried to do was I tried to <clears throat> I tried to get the shadows uh, close to you know where so all the lighting right now based on the way that I, I colored this and inked this and shaded this is based off of that skull. Everything is everything is being lit from that skull. So it's going to be a very interesting um, you know lights and darks and stuff like that. So. There's a very, there's a lot of ambient lighting and all that other stuff. So we'll see here that, uh, you know, so now I gotta draw, I draw the chains. So I used a reference on this one. So that's probably why it turned out so amazing. Um, I used a, a reference from another Ghost Rider piece. Um, so there, I can't uh, recall the artist off the top of my head. And if I do I find that, I will, uh, I'll put that in the link uh, in, yeah, in the description. But, uh, so here I go. I'm going around erasing. This is my least favorite thing to do is erasing because sometimes it takes off the ink. Uh, it's one of those things that I'm trying to work around is uh, making sure that my pencil lines are light enough that when I ink them, it's easier to erase so that I don't mind taking the ink off. Um, they do make some ink that's a little more resilient to erasers, but, you know, it's one of those things. Just hit this. So here I am. Uh, I start off with the the very light yellows, and then I go into the a little bit darker yellows. So flames are... are <laughs> Very, very tough to do. Um, I mean, everybody has their own kind of like style to the way of doing them, um, and that's really like I spent so much time with the flames. Nothing else is really like intensely colored on this. It's just the flames. And I tried, you know, I did mess around with um, a few different techniques to help me out with making some things pop out. And I think I did help uh, at, at the finished product. While I was doing it, I wasn't so confident in it. So that's probably also part reason why this took so long for me to do. So you can see here, now I'm, I'm adding in the oranges for the flames, and uh, so I really wanted to get that, like, that de de demonic eyes in the background, and that's kind of like, so gives you a little bit of a background while also making it part of the actual character, you know what I mean? Because Ghost Rider is uh, based on um, um, a demon, basically. It's a demon possessing the, the guy who is Ghost Rider. Um, so this one's a, this video is a little bit longer than last week's, um, primarily because of how long this took me to do. I'm gonna try to stick around the times 1,000 speed so you guys know. <laughs> I don't actually know what times 1,000 means. There's no way this is times 1,000 because six minutes times 1,000 would be like, I don't know, like forever. <laughs> but anyways, so however this video editing processing software works is you know how it's speeding this up. Um, so here I go, I'm adding in, finally adding in some really dark oranges here, and I think that makes the skull look sweet. Um, and I, you know, I also added in some tans, because the skull is actually tan, um, it's like a light tan, whitish kind of color. So I wanted to make sure that, you, you know, we know that that is a skull that is on fire. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm adding in, I'm re-adding in some highlights on the armor. Yeah, I really want that yellow to pop, and, and I think it really does. I think it, this this piece, and again, I have to apologize. I'm always really bad at that. I, I kind of pop out of the frame often. I have, it's, you know, it's really it's really tough. It's such a small card, right? It's two and a half by three and a half. But anyways, so as you can see here, and I'm, I'm actually using some color pencils to uh, draw back some of the dark spots that I don't want so dark, mm, because um, sometimes the markers kind of 
they just kind of mush together a little bit and that's something I'm working on working on and trying to avoid and I add a little bit of orange very lightly just to just to give a glow here and there I think I think it looks sweet so there's so much to keep in mind when you're doing these types of pieces where there's like lighting everywhere there's lighting everywhere which means that there's darkness everywhere as well I mean bright light will remove complete shadows but depending on where your light is you know you could have extreme shadows and extreme light um, in this case we have a little bit of both um, in, in in most of the situation here because all the lighting is coming from top so everything gets darker as it goes you know down anyways um, so here I am just doing the final touches on this piece and uh, and all that other stuff so anyways, guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. You guys have a fantastic day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. I do have a couple new projects based on some comments that, are, that I've, I've received. So, so keep it tuned. Later, guys.